Hello Scorpio, welcome back or welcome if it's your first time. Focus right on the crystal in through the cards. And Spirit, what do you have for Scorpio for December 10th through 16th? What would you like for them to know, pay attention to, or be aware of at this time? Please only allow truth, honesty, love, and acceptance within this reading. As above, so below. So Scorpio, I am available for personal readings. I do have short wait times at the moment. Just check the link in the description box below. And I also do a free full reading pool every month. Tell your friends and family because it's free. <laughs> and sign up for that. That link's in the description box below as well. Okay, Scorpio. So we have the tower. The Queen of Cups, Oof. the Two of Cups, the Will of Fortune in Reverse, Judgment, and the Page of Pentacles. On the bottom of the deck we have the Ten of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords. I feel like there's a lot of thought. Scorpio um, about what it is you should do about a situation okay um, maybe even when it comes to work uh, I see you wanting more support either maybe with a family or starting a family um, or people that you consider family needing more support with them you're really worried about something maybe your job or maybe money situations but you definitely are working towards more foundations. Uh, I feel like you like what it is that you do, but you just want to attain um, a supportive position where you are. Um, to not have to worry or anything like that. To feel secure, um, whether it be in a relationship or in your career. But you are worried about materialistic things like money or time or things like that. Um, or if you should make a move or if there is something that you should do. Um, it's more about how you feel than what is actually going on. Okay, um, You may be wearing yourself down. Um, and you want a chance to explore other options of your life like maybe you're focusing so much on work and things like that that you want to spend more time in your love life and things like that okay so the tower is a shock something comes to you that isn't really what you want to come okay especially with the will of fortune because it talks about misfortune or a change in things a change in the situation maybe how you feel or maybe the structure of something okay um let's see Okay, so I feel like maybe there's a Virgo in your life, okay? Um, and maybe that needs to change or something happens with that relationship and it's not like it used to be. That is That could be a possibility. Um, it could also be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Something that happened with that person um, or someone that used to nurture you is uh, has changed. So something in your life, Scorpio, has changed and it's not... It's a shock to you that this is even happening or why is this even happening? Um, it wasn't in the plan. Okay, it wasn't something that you thought of. It wasn't something that you were paying attention to and then it changed. So within your career, maybe um, maybe you've been doing a whole bunch of overtime and you're like, oh, this is great. This can sustain me. And then you, your body gets tired and you have to change the way that you do things. So you didn't really make a good plan or you didn't know that this was going to happen. And now you have to now you have to deal with it. Okay, so you're trying to hold on to what it is that you do have. You don't want to lose out on everything that you've gained or what it is that you want for yourself. Um, yeah, yeah. 
So you're figuring out a way to nurture yourself for the best. And that's why the Queen of Cups comes up. It could be another Cancer Scorpio Pisces that is coming to help you or a parent. Um, but I really don't think so. I think that you're trying to find a way to nurture yourself in within this situation because there's some sort of discord within your life or your finances okay and you don't feel very uh, reliant on yourself or there may be some financial issues and you're attempting to fix that okay and it's going to take patience it's going to take time you're gonna have to stop overindulging in things if you like to spend a lot of money um yeah you're going to have to fix some part of your life where you overindulge or do too much of something um, in order to maintain right now at this moment, Scorpio. Okay? You have to make better judgments. Listen to your intuition. Um, pay attention to the parts of your life that are not helping you grow. The parts of your life that is uh, kind of uh, taking all of your energy or all of your money away from things that are important okay so you are going to come together this could be a relationship as well um if this is a relationship something comes as a shock um and you decide to go back to this person okay um i feel like you've learned your lesson or you think they've learned their lesson or you've changed something you've done because they um wanted you to change something and now you change that if it's a relationship situation but i mostly feel like you are coming to grips with yourself um and what it is that is truly for you and not just what you want like what you can actually integrate into your life um so you're reevaluating your choices and the things that you have done uh, readjusting your direction okay and not being so uh, jealous of other people or discouraged or um, feeling like unmotivated things like that or being frustrated so you're coming more to grips about what it is that you need or that is actually for you Okay, it's going to be a learning process, Scorpio. It's not going to be easy. And that's why the Page of Pentacles is there. Because you are now a student of life <laughs> and of work and um, of what it is that you want to accomplish. So take your time. Know that you're not at the end. Take risks. Try something new. Um, and be happy about it. <laughs> be happy about it. It's okay to be a dreamer, but you have to be more realistic about what it is that you want to accomplish, okay? And then you'll get some good news here by the end of the week, all right? Okay, that came flowing on out, Scorpio. So, let's all take a deep breath. Take a moment to inhale divine knowledge through opening the heart and mind. And exhaling the old issues, conflicts, and struggles of the week. Oof. All right. This one really wanted to come out. You have between worlds and you also have poised. Mm. Between worlds talks about being stuck in a bad situation. Okay. So it's you could be leaving one into a new or you're just in between two spaces. You don't know which one to choose or even if there is a possibility because you can't see it. Um, if you notice this this flamingo does come out the other side you see with color and liveliness and this is just a moment that you have to get past but you will Scorpio you will poise talks about how you do it do it with grace and listening to your intuition with the temperance it's all about uh, being balanced and attuned to yourself and the things that are surrounding you okay you can do it it's going to be a struggle. You're going to worry, um, but it's doable. You just have to make some changes, okay? So thank you for listening, Scorpio, and let's meet again next week for more self-discovery. Love and light to you. Bye-bye.